Okay, cool. So everything is here on the page. Um, story, there goes your story. I love it, man. Really, really cool. Maybe some type of, um, maybe some type of hook while on the phone with my sellers to congratulate him on an offer for his home. He told me, he told me a beautiful story about a tutor. See that's that boom. So right in the story, let's, let's, let's hit the three dots going to edit and let's, let's just maybe, maybe let, let's add some edit post. Let's add some kind of like hook. Let's add some type of, let's add a first liner, like a one liner going to edit post. And then, and then dro just drop the, um, drop the, go back up to, to the very top. So while, while on the phone, yeah, let's drop that down like a little bit, just while on the phone, we're going to add something on top. So okay. this should be the hook. So this should be the attention getter. It should be some type of hook. It should be um, something that just grabs someone's attention, like right away. And then, and then goes into the story. So the hook or the attention grabber could be something like, it could be something like, um, and, and, and it could be calling out the city or the town, like what area are we going after? Uh, Thurston County. Thurston? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it could be something like, it could be something like, It could be something like, okay, so the story that tutor passed away and he never had the chance to tell her that because of her tutoring, his daughter became a straight A student on her way. He said, you go. It could be something like, it could be something like, um, it could be something like, you'll never get it. You'll, you'll, you'll never guess what happened to, you'll never guess the experience I had with my client when when selling his home in Thurston County or something like that. You'll never guess the experience I had in Thurston County. Or you'll never experience, you'll never, you'll never you'll never guess the experience I had with my client in Thurston County. Or something like that. Something along those lines. And it's a one liner. So it's it's so that keyword Thurston County is out there um, selling. So, so actually, no, selling to them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seller is out there. So you'll never guess the experience I had in, you will had experience I had in with selling with my seller in Thurston County while on the phone with one of my sellers. So let's reword this just a bit. You'll never guess the experience I had with my seller in Thurston County while on the phone with him. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So there's the one one liner calling out really really telling the story about about Thurston County so anybody that sees that really quick and they're in that county it, it would it would it would make them just want to want to read want to continue technically right. he's not in Thurston County but no one will ever have to know that <laughs> yeah right exactly yeah perfect perfect so yeah. you'll never guess the experience I had with my seller in Thurston County while on the phone yeah perfect 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 so hook story offer yeah. perfect okay good cool okay and then safe so, so our editing is done. Everything is on the page. Perfect. And then now let's just run the ad. Okay, cool. So we'll hit the create. We'll go conversions. And then, um, yeah, get in the habit of, of titling everything here. Yeah, so hit the drop down and then we'll title the campaign, the ad set, and then the ad. Um, this one is not, this one's the county, right? Yeah, the ad set would be the county the daily budget, 17 a day, Thurston County, 17 a day. Perfect. That's it. And then the campaign would be, would be um, in parentheses, it'd be conversions, but it would also be, yeah, seller, seller story. And then, and then maybe, yeah, exactly. Seller story conversions. And then the ad would be image holding key or something like that. Perfect. And no parentheses for the ad. Just image holding key. Perfect. Okay, cool. Continue. And then over here, we'll just hit the drop down housing. And then that's it for um for for the campaign level. Okay, off, off, off. Okay, cool. Perfect. Next. Okay, so over here. Um we'll always make sure that our conversion event is is there, which it is, and sometimes it's not, but it's already there by default, the conversion event seller guide leads. But sometimes it's not there, so you just click in the box and then hit the drop down and find it. It'll, it'll be in there. Um, and then down here daily, you can just go 17. Um, and then 
Yeah, and then take it out, take it out seven days. And then what we'll want to do for sure on this one is let's let's chat, let's review it in 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 six days. Okay. So in six days, we'll we'll take a look at the numbers and and see. And and that really allows us to determine whether we should leave it on and 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 let it let it continue or or shut it off and set set the next one. So locations, you'll want to change the locations. Um, we won't put any detailed targeting. We'll actually leave that wide open. No keywords um, in it. So people living in, perfect. Thurston County, perfect county. Okay, cool. So we're good there. And then what? if anything, you can change the language if you want um, and just go English all down. So if you go, if you go down, you can always go English if, if, if you want. Okay, cool. And then scroll down and then placements will leave it automatic and that's it. So that's, that's step two. That's the ad set. That's all it is, is changing the budget, changing the county or the, or the targeting the, the demographics and, and that's it. So next, and then we just go to the third and final step. And then we'll always, um, yeah, you can you can go ahead and is your is your IG connect to, connected to your account? Should be. Yeah, it well it should be. Yeah, it should be. Um, go ahead and yeah, there it is. There, perfect. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So we'll hit that drop down, um, and then we'll scroll down, and then we'll just hit that drop down, create ad under ad setup, create ad, and just go use existing post. So use existing post, and then select post, and then you should see it right over here. Perfect. Okay, cool. Continue. And then we'll simply add our button and we'll just go with learn more. And then, um, yeah, learn more. And then we'll just check our pixel, make sure our web event is, is accurate, which it should, should be already. Yeah, we'll put that there and then I'll be taking as much of a day off as I can. I mean, blood pressure is <laughs> <laughs> no, <you're... laughs> the roof. I'm like sitting over here stewing on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll work out. It'll work out. Oh, it will. Of course it will. It but will. boy, I hate that. <laughs> okay. That's why you kick ass at what you do, man. It takes, it takes well, yeah, having. I just care so much. That's the problem. Yes. Yes. And that, it gets me in trouble where it's like, I care so much that then I end up like emotionally invested in every single sale. And that's why my blood pressure gets up. Yeah. Yeah. And leave then, that there. Leave that there. Yeah. All that's good. All that's good. Offline okay. events. Tra that's that's yeah. That's Do all I need good. to change this little thing? The best wall properties thing down here on, on the image. You, you won't be able to on video. You can, but oh, okay. that's, that's going to show up as the default um okay. so yeah you're you're fine there and then scroll down just a bit the tracking um and then select a domain so hit that drop down select a domain and then go with your seller guide perfect okay cool so now that now now that's good to go okay cool now now hit publish and then that's it so okay. you can always um see you know see the 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 live shot of it as as it runs through the news feed and I don't know why this happens all the time now. This publishing one of three, it doesn't, it doesn't push through, which, which it normally always does. But I've seen that uh, many times now in the past couple of weeks. So just open up a new tab and just go back to the ads manager. So you just open up a new tab, go to the bookmarks and just hit that. Oops. Yeah, this seems to happen quite a bit. On yeah. So you could just, yeah, we'll just open up another one and then it'll be there, the blue button in the top right and then just push it through here. And then you can just close out that other window or the other tab. So we'll hit publish and, and it, should put, it should push through here. Okay, good. So now again, if you ever wanna look at, look at the ad, you can always check the box to the left of the, of the blue dot and then click mm -hmm. on the ads tab to the very right, ads. That's the ad set. And then just the, the third one over, the ads. Yeah, so if you click on that one, you can click on edit. You don't have to check the box anymore. It's really oh, just okay. checking the box on the on the campaign tab. Okay. So, um, and then click on edit under the title, image holding key. 
and then you can just click on the drop down to the very, very right, that arrow, that box arrow looking thing to the very right. Yeah, right there. And then desktop newsfeed, Facebook desktop newsfeed, or you can even share a link, but I just go down to Facebook oh, desktop right. newsfeed. So view, for all of that. Facebook, right yeah, that one. So okay. if you click on that one, scroll to the newsfeed, you should see it right here below Ashley. It's normally the second one down. Hi. Bam, there it is there. Okay. Cool. That looks good. Yeah. So and that then that's it. That's that image with it being blurry like that. That's that that's that's like good. Like I like that. That's mm -hmm. like it, it's a pattern interrupt, is what you call it, is what we call it. A pattern interrupt. Yeah. So that happens with video. You can do that with image, but but just something random. That's why when you see these random ass images or these random videos and and, and they're doing something weird that they're doing that intentionally. It's a pattern interrupt. It's making you stop to question what the hell it is, mm -hmm. right? That's a pattern interrupt. So as I scroll down and I see something blurry, it would actually make me stop to see. I'm like, what the hell? Like, right. Like it would yeah. make me stop. Yeah. You know, yeah. So that's, I really like that. That's really, really cool. Cool. Yeah. So there, there's that let's, let's definitely yeah. plan on talking about that in, in the next, well, in six days. And then, and then we'll, we'll see if we should leave it on or, or get another one going. And then also here, here's another thing too, that we, that we want to for sure, for sure, start doing like for sure, for sure on our very next image ad and, and on what you want to do is you want to like, for example, this one, go back to the ads manager. This one is being ran on one image, right? Mm -hmm. What we want to mm -hmm. be doing is putting five in there. Five images. Yeah. I haven't taught you that. This is ninja shit. I haven't taught you that part yet. Um, okay, like a carousel kind of thing. Not, no, not a carousel. No one, no one's even gonna see all five. Um, oh. It runs, it runs on the background in the background. Oh. So what we do is we we upload five images and we let Facebook sort through the ones that are actually getting engagement. And then, oh, I and totally then do that. I've got five. So easy. Facebook, yeah, Facebook will let us know which image is the one popping, and we shut off all the other four oh. and run with that one. Okay. Because this image may not be the one, right? Uh -huh. And that's what's going to make us in six days. That's what's going to make us say, okay, shit, turn it off. Let's do another one. When do we you want to do that with this? We, no, like let, let this okay. one run first. I want to, I want, I want to show you the differences. So we'll let okay. one run with one image and then, and then our next one, we'll set up five. And then okay. from that point on, we'll just do, we'll just do five image. And, and that's when we run image ads video. You only do one video, but with images, right. You want to, you want to definitely put in, put in, put in five, three to actually five, five is good. No more than five, but you'll put five different images and, and let Facebook determine which one is the winner. That's okay. split testing. Okay. So some people split test with keywords. Some people split test with cities and then some people split test with images. So in your case, targeting a local area, we don't need any keywords. We don't even really need any other counties or cities. So we're going to just test with split test with images. Okay. Okay. So we'll do that on our, on our next one for sure. Okay. Sounds good. Well, that's all I have then. I'll let you get to it and get your stuff. Close that deal. Close that deal yeah. and keep me posted. And then I'm going to, I'm going to get back on my studying. So I'll, I'll, I'll email you later on. I'll message you later on as well. Awesome. Sounds good. Cool. All right, Anastasia. Thanks. Bye-bye.